Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to build this very nice interactive 3D gem with Sprite and then we're going to integrate it into a simple HTML hero banner using Webflow. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are at the startup screen of Sprite. So let's click on this button to create a new file. Alright, so by default it gives you this great rectangle here but we don't need it so let's remove it. So the first thing we need to do is to change the background colors. So let's go to the right panel here and then change the color to something uh, like this. So next step, we're going to uh, click on this plus button up here and then create a sphere uh, right here. And then you click anywhere on the screen to make the sphere pops up. And you can scale it bigger by holding Shift and Option for Mac. And then let's go to the material panel on the right and then let's uh, change this color channel to depth. And if you click on this depth channel, you can see there's a uh, controller UI so that you can adjust this uh, gradient uh, the way that you want it. So let's change the color to uh, something like, um, like um, purple and pink radiant, uh, something like this. And then you can move this controller UI around to see how it's affect the gradient. Um, so I wanted to make it uh, a better distinction between the two colors, something like this. All right, and then uh, let's go to the lighting channels and then reduce the intensity by 40. So uh, we can have like a more a flatter look and feel like this. Uh, and then create another channels. And for this channels, I'm going to select uh, Fresno. Uh, so we can have this kind of a outline lighting effects like this and then reduce the intensity to 50 uh, so we have something like this all right so for next step let's uh, create another object uh, for and then for this one i'm going to select this um, icosahedron shape that's a very serious name uh, all right so it is something like this so let's scale it a little bit bigger and then move it so it can cover up the sphere like this and then let's go to the material panels and switch this color channel to glass so now you can see that the outer shape has become transparent and you can see the uh, sphere inside um, so now i'm going to click on this glass channel to adjust some of these properties here so let's bump up this uh, blurs to 30 and then increase the thickness to 20 uh, so we can have something like this, so it's looking really nice. Uh, so next, let's go to the lighting channels and uh, reduce the uh, intensity to 30, so we can have like a flatter look and feel like this. Alright, so finally, let's create a, another channels for the materials, and then for this one, I'm going to select uh, Fresnos. Uh, so you can see that it's create a very cool reflection effect uh, going on, on the gem so you can click on this button up here to preview it fully uh, so it's looking really good now so i'm i'm going to go with this all right so the next thing we need to do is to add some animation to these two shapes so i want them to rotate indefinitely so uh, first let's select this uh, sphere and then go to this state here and then click on this plus button to uh, create another state. So we have the base state, which is the original state, and the state, which is the second state, where you can adjust any kind of property to create the animation. So let's select the state, and then down here from the rotation, let's adjust it to 360. And then we need it to add an event to trigger the animation. So let's click on this plus button. So it gives you this uh, event by default. And for the event type, let's go with start because we want it to be triggered as soon as we start the whole scene. So uh, for the state, let's select the state and then down here, let's adjust the duration, maybe three seconds. And then let's click here to preview it to see how it goes. So it's rotate, but then it stop because uh, we it only happens once. So uh, we can go back here and then turn on this uh, repeat um, so let's review it so it's rotated once and then it's repeat to you know create a full loop and this so we can have this this shape just rotating uh, indefinitely uh, so we're good on this so now all we have to do next is to apply exactly the same process 
to the second ship, which is an outside ship, but with the opposite direction. So let's create another stage, and for this one, uh, let's adjust the rotation to minus 360. Uh, so we can have it rotate in the opposite direction. And then uh, down here, let's turn on the repeat. And for the durations, let's go with maybe a little bit slower, like 10 seconds. And then for the transition, uh, for this one, we're going to switch it to linear instead. Uh, so we can have this gems rotating evenly every time, uh, like this. Uh, so it's looking really good here. You can like click and you know just rotate it around, interact with this, and it's looking super nice here. All right, so now let's integrate this into Webflow. So let's go to this export panels and let's select this public URL. And then down here, uh, we can see a bunch of different settings that we can play around with. So let's turn off the logo, which is a slide logo with a peer in the corners. And this feature is only available for pro version. Just um, keep that in mind. And uh, maybe let's turn off this pan and only leave this orbits on. And so, yeah, I think this is good. So let's click on update to make sure everything is being updated here and so wait for a few seconds. And once it's finished updating, let's go to this embed link and then click on this icon so we can copy the link to the clipboard. So we've kind of finished everything here. So let's go to Webflows and build a very simple hero banners. All right, so here we are in Webflow. So the first thing we needed to do is to go to Splite and then copy this color code from the background. And then go back to Webflow and then paste the color code to the body's background here. And now we're gonna have exactly the same colors background as the Splite project. So here is the design that we're going to build on Webflow. So if you look at this, you can see there are three main sections that we can divide it into. So the first section could be the headers, which is this uh, top area here. And the second section could be this hero banner with its uh, headlights and the 3D artwork. And the third section is the footers down here. Uh, so now we can go back to Webflow and then create the three sections. Uh, for this hero banner. So the first one, let's drag it here and then name it the headers and then let's just drag the second section to this page. So this one we're going to name is hero and then lastly just drag the third section which is the footers. Alright so we have this three section of the page here so now let's select the headers and then click on this button uh, so you can see there's a bunch of PNG and SVG assets that I have already imported to this project. You can click here to import um, you know, any kind of file from your computers. But uh, I already have it here. So all I have to do is to drag it into this headers section. So here's the logo and then these uh, hamburgers, uh, sandwich buttons, and then this shirt icon. Now we have these three items uh, being aligned to the left here, but I want them to be justified across the screen uh, horizontally. So super easy, just go to the layouts uh, section and then click on this button and then select this alive option. And for justify, let's select this button. And now you can see that all of these three items are being stretched uh, to fill up the horizontal space um, and then you can go to this layer menu to adjust the orders of the item so we can have this logo in the middle instead and then you can uh, go to this spacing options to increase the margins um, for the on, on the left and also on the right of the header section and then also on the top, we can give it like 20 pixels. So now we can have something like this. Uh, so it's looking uh, pretty good here. So now we're going to move on to the next section, which is the hero one. Uh, so for the hero section, I'm going to add a grid uh, to this section. Um, so by default, it gives you a uh, like two columns and two rows uh, grid like this, but we only need two columns. So we can go here to remove the extra row. And now we have something like this. Uh, you can click on this button done here to uh, go back to the original views. Uh, so from this one, I'm going to click here and add a 
heading to the left uh, columns of the grid and then releases so we have the heading here and for these uh, one on the right I'm going to add this embed features uh, so just keep in mind that this feature only available when you sign up for the hosting so you, ha you have to pay for the hosting option to uh, uh, to have a hosting for your website in order to use this feature uh, so uh, I already paid it so I have it here so let's just simply drag it to the right columns of the grid like this and then releases and then it's it opens up this dialog where you can just paste the embed link that we have on you know this uh, option here so remember this uh, that's not this one so this embed option so just just click here to copy it and then go back to uh, the webflow and just simply just paste it here and that's it just save and close and now you can see that this spline 3d object is being loaded here super simple and it's already working perfectly here so now what we needed to do is to increase the height of this uh, grid so we can see everything uh, so let's go here and let's switch to pixel and maybe let's go with 720 pixel uh, so something like this uh, would be great or maybe it's just reduce it a bit maybe 700 is better all right so i'm going to go with this all right so now let's move on to the heading section so i want this uh heading text to be a light in the middle like this and also like this all right so we have this uh, right in the middle here and let's just scroll down here and then change the font to maybe Meriwether's or no maybe Monster Rat, uh, which is better and increase the size to 80s um, all right um, so now let's just type in whatever that we want to tell here so maybe integrate 3d to uh, webflow right so here we have this headline here and for the body text I'm going to paste this to this uh, heading section here but we want this body text to be in a smaller font size and different style so all you have to do is to select the body text and then click on this brush button here and it will create a text span where you can apply a different text class to this particular areas um, so let's call it body text and then let's scroll up here to the text properties and reduce the font size to 18 and then also let's select the normal fonts instead uh, so we have something like this so it's uh, pretty much close to the design now so now let's apply the same for the headline so let's create another text span for the headline and call it heading one um, so we have two text span for uh, this particular headline so this is body text and this is a heading um, all right so the next thing we need to do is to uh, maybe uh, let's select this headings uh, here so everything and reduce the width side to 400 pixel so it could squeeze the text area like this uh, so it's really close now all we need to do lastly is to um, adjust the slide spacing of this text so let's go to uh, adjust the light spacing of the overall heading to zero and then let's select heading one and increase the, the spacing of the heading ones is maybe 18 uh, no maybe it's like 75 or maybe even like 70s is better all right so the headline is looking good so now let's increase the light spacing of this body text so i'm going to give it 10 so we have something like this so i think it's looking uh, pretty good now so uh, the last thing we need to do is to, to apply the same exactly the same thing that we did on the header to the footers uh, so i'm going to you know time last this so we can save some time but you already know the process All right, so it's looking good here. So you can click on this I button up here to preview everything. Uh, so as you can see that this 3D interactive element is being integrated seamlessly to this hero banner and it's working like magic here. So that's the end of my tutorial today. So I hope you find this one helpful and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more contents and I will see you in the next one.